wanted to start the vlog on the trail, but the trail was so full of people that I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to like sit down and set my camera up on the trail, but you should see this view. Surrounded. I'm gonna be spending most of this week in Whistler. I have a friend who lives here who graciously invited me to stay with her and I did not say no because I needed to get out of the city and I missed her and I just felt like it would be nice to kind of change things up a little bit. I'm still working while I'm here, but since I work remote, can kind of work wherever I want. So the goal is to get as much of my work done today as I possibly can. And then tomorrow and Wednesday when my friend is off work, we're gonna try and get a bunch of writing done. She also writes and she is one of the only people that I know in real life that's not on the internet that also does creative writing. So I'm excited to hang out with her in the mountains, in the forest, and kind of just like chill and get some writing done. I just went for a very short hike. It was more of a walk than a hike. Now I'm gonna head back into town, pick up some dinner, head back to my friend's house and get as much work done as I possibly can before she finishes work tonight. one of the most productive days that I have had in a long time. I think the change of environment really helped and I personally know that that's something that I need to do in order to be more productive. I need to change up my environment quite a bit just to make sure that I'm like stimulated and not getting bored with everything, which is why I usually try to go to cafes to get work done, but I haven't been doing that lately. And it's really shown in my productivity, I think, because today I worked for like, six hours at least. I also, usually I don't work like straight. I kind of like split up my work. So I work for a couple hours in the morning. I'll work for like an hour in the middle of the day and then I'll work a bunch at night or something like that. And I kind of just did like, I think it was almost six hours completely straight through the afternoon after I got home from my hike. And I feel like doing some writing. So I'm gonna get about half an hour of writing in and then my friend is supposed to be done at work and we're probably gonna go to bed <laughs> shortly after she gets home. Um, we'll see, I guess, but I think, I think she goes to bed early and I know I am exhausted. But yeah, I'm gonna do about half an hour or so of working on Between the Waves and I feel like that is just like the perfect way to finish off a very productive day. I might just need to move into the mountains. Maybe that's the problem. I won't, I won't move again, don't worry. I'll stay at my current place for at least a year. That was my rule. thought I'd check in. Um, I had a wonderful meditation this morning and then my friend and I went out with one of her friends and we went and grabbed some food. We went for a walk by the lake. It was all very, very nice. I filmed a video here that I needed to get filmed and I did actually do some writing this morning. I think the meditation out on the deck honestly made me feel so good that I just felt very inspired. It's almost seven. I have about an hour and 15 minutes or so of work that I still need to get done for the day. So I'm gonna crank out a bunch more of that and then probably swap between that and writing for the rest of the night. So that's the plan.
didn't really check in. Um, so on my last night in Whistler, which was Wednesday night, uh, my friend and I went to an oral storytelling workshop, which was really cool. It was not really a workshop. It was like labeled as a workshop, which is what we were both expecting. And then we got there and it wasn't really a workshop. It was kind of just like a chat, I guess, which was still cool. Cause it was cool to like hear her story. It was, um, taught or I guess led by an indigenous woman from one of the territories up there. And I don't know, I don't know too much about it, but a lot of indigenous peoples in Canada at least obviously pass on like a lot of their traditions and stories and I don't know if folklore is the right word, um, but they pass it on through oral storytelling. And it's something that she does like workshops for in schools and kind of just teaches people the importance of oral storytelling. So that was really interesting. I really didn't know what to expect from it. I feel like it was a little rough because a woman sat right in front of me and like fully blocked my view. And the presenter even spoke about the fact that when she is telling stories orally, she uses her hands a lot and obviously like does movements and specifies what she's talking about. And like her hands are a big part of that. And I couldn't see her for most of the workshop because this woman was in front of me and I kept, I would like lean to the side and it's like the woman would lean to the side and then I'd lean to the other side and she would lean this way. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna imagine what she looks like telling her stories in my head. So that part was a little rough, but it was really interesting to go and check that out anyways. I didn't get quite as much writing done up there as I wanted to, but I think I made progress in like the rest of my productivity while I was there because I got so much work done and I got my work done very efficiently. And that's something that sometimes when I'm at home, I struggle with quite a bit. And I genuinely think it is that I just need like a change up environment more often than not, which I think that's, it's, that's a fair assumption to make. And it's definitely true. So it was nice to kind of just like get away from the city, have some space with my thoughts, be up in the mountains, go and check out a couple lakes. It was actually really nice. And I did get some writing done. Like I probably wrote a couple thousand words while I was up there. I think we passed 26,000 in, in the manuscript. I don't know. It's kind of been all over the place with how many words exactly I'm writing because I've gone back and added a couple scenes and like tweaked some other scenes. So I don't even really know what the word count's sitting at right now, but I hope that you all enjoyed that vlog. I really had a good time making it. I love making vlogs where I kind of get to go and explore the province that I live in. Cause it's just like, everything here is so beautiful. Like I look at the trees and the mountains and the ocean and I, I just want to like cry because it's so beautiful and it's so cool. So it's always cool to like get out of Vancouver and go and see like, towns and areas that are outside of the city. So I hope that you all enjoyed coming along with me and kind of seeing some of that scenery. Thank you so much as usual to all of my patrons over on Patreon. Your support means the world to me and I'm so happy to have you there. Thank you to everyone here who stays and watches and likes and subscribes and hangs out on my videos. I really appreciate you being here and I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to smile and I will see you in my next video. Bye.